Oh, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy Bat at Hell 24 here today. We're doing behind closed doors revisited. Now, Fluffy Dev, aka Better Bluebird, she made new behind closed doors. She's going to revisit the entire series with a brand new remake and stuff. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be awesome. This is a 30 minute playable teaser of what to expect with Behind Closed Doors. So we're gonna play it, we're gonna see all the shit that's gonna happen here, we're gonna see how fun it's gonna get, we're gonna see how weird it's gonna get. Let's go ahead and get right into the thick of how weird it's gonna get. Um, yeah. Cause I don't know how, how dangerous it's gonna get, but three, two, one, go. Hi, my name is Fluffy. I'm the creator of this mod. This is a prologue. I just run if you like. If this is a success, I'll continue trying to repair the other acts. Before we begin, I need to ask a favor of you. You see, I made BCD for fun, okay? It was supposed to be a heartwarming story about a slightly corrosive relationship between Natsuki and her father, which would peacefully resolve the intervention of her friends. But it became so much more. I underestimated Monica. I didn't think she was an actual being. Then I saw Bottle's a very intelligent man, but I doubted he could create sentience. But I was wrong. Manga had been messing with me from day one. Every iteration of BCD has had something wrong with it, something I didn't put there. From Mom Coder jump scares to missing images, she made it very clear who was really in control. The version of her that you have in your character file is a decoy, so I've left as much information as I can in the real Monica's file. Could you go into the mod folder, find her, and open up in a readable format, please? Uh, let me... Is this this one? Is it this one? Okay. This is where Mark is supposed to be about... Uh, what? This is kind of interesting. The sea tools are obviously just been given away of them before they can be removed. When behind the closed doors, we also was infected and quarantined everyone inside. It wanted the kid to file his lock safely away him from home with my Clint's contents. Once the reset finished, everything was into its default. The kid to file found out was missing Monica and copied over the data from the previous backup. The home close shoe tent around me so decided to take on the corporeal form in the real world. I've been monitoring her for several years, keeping an eye on her behavior. She hasn't seen any ill intent since 2018. Though there are many visions of BCD, may have caused corruptions. When part of the code is lost and misplaced, we do something to capture the effect as being there in spirit. This will be the chosen game. This will be the first time that an actual player enters the revised world of Beyond Closed Doors. The MC in the game will simply accept that Mark is given him a spirit and move on, but he's the only one that. And move on. He's only there because you are, and you're the only one who can be affected by the code. If you see spirit acting strangely, please. Please go to this site. Monica report page. Monica report page. Well, okay then. Guess I can't report Monica being a Bitch, then. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway. I put her outside of the game fold just in case. Oh wait, I did. Good, well I'll cut off then. Yep. Just see something I've given you if there's any problems. It's out of my hands now. I'll give you the modification and attempt to fix this and let's see what happens. Alright. Bat's point of view. It's already interesting. This is already really, really interesting. Bat's point of view. So it's a good stretch from forms as well, but to find something to be like. Ah, uh, really? Well, it's no wonder you're missing me. That sounds awful. But I'm more than intrigued to see the changes. It'll be open soon. Shall I come to you or will. Spirit? Bat? Spirit pauses for a moment, then turns to face me. What are you doing here? I thought you were left. Tommy was arrested and it was a happy ending. Whoa. 
Sing Boom Sound? I'm sure that's why he left. Spirit, you're just being a bit. Oh, Bat's back. He is? Ah, how wonderful to see you again, Bat. Did the tool school not work out? It's okay, you always work with me here. <laughs> I hope it's not selfish to say, but I miss you. Let you not speak. I miss you too. Why are they not talking as I moved house or something? I left the electric up because I had to. Because I killed someone. Ooh. I really did miss them. The air was quarantined due to a virus when we all been vacated, but now I'm back. Sure. Sure, let's go with that. I went on the run, fled the town, fearing for my life. Maybe I should explain? <laughs> what? I moved house about five months ago and I left my little left behind. I wanted to come back here, but I had to finish. Why didn't I come back sooner? I had to finish. OS edit mc.chr. Whoa. Awaiting input. I had to finish my semester. Accepted. Oh my god, Monica is still able to control the game even though the original BCD cut her out of it. And now her name is actually Monica instead of Spirit. I want to come back here, but I had to finish my semester. Oh my god. So I just explore it again. Split, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, that, there you go. There you go. There you go. It's so nice to see Spirit again. What the fuck is happening? Why is Spirit doing this shit? Pat, it's a special welcome back yes, but you run the club today. I'm sure you still know the right poetry. <laughs> Who knows, maybe you'll be best friends in the club one day. It always pays to be prepared. Does that mean he can't read manga with me? The honorary president can do whatever he wants. And I'm sure he'll- I have errands to run, so I need to go- What the fuck is happening here? I have errands to run, so I need to go. Stay out of trouble, Bat. What that spirit leaves the room without another word. Wouldn't she usually do some kind of announcement about this? Or well, is that my job for now? Yuri gives me a curious stare for a moment, then goes to sit down. I notice who takes Ayo's hand as they walk back to their desk together. Now it's just Natsuki. Hey, Bat. Did you miss me while you were away? I found a photo of us together eh, when we were in the park together. We looked really happy, and I'm scared that you've forgotten that. Forgotten me. It's been a really long time. You know, I would reassure her, but, um, since she teases us, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tease the little pink-haired girl. Tease her. How could I forget about someone as cute as you? My little cupcake. Instant regret. That was so cringy. I think it just fell my tongue once. But, cute cupcake? Maybe just because we've been apart for a long time, but she seems really flustered by my comments. Don't tease me like that! Jeez. You get such a dork. This isn't some dating sim where you can just say goofy stuff and I'll fall at your feet. Um, it was made for that idea, but sure, whatever. Oh, whatever, sure. Let's, uh, we'll go with that. Lucky for you, that I've already fallen. But you better keep comments like that to yourself in the future. Weeb. Ooh, I need to show you something. Getting your is just reminding me about it. Good job. Natsuki suddenly grabs my hand and starts rolling towards the door. Looks like my present will do, so I'll suspend for now. What is happening? Again, this is Bat's point of view. Hmm. What are we doing? As we leave this school, I spot Spirit out of the corner of my eye. I barely have done to do what she's doing with not to keep drafting me away. What the fuck is Spirit doing? Here we are! Back in the verdant paradise where I confessed to her. 
A wave of nostalgia washes over me, bringing a smile to my lips. You can't see from here, but I cover the names of the tree. Oh my god, my fucking ears are bleeding because of this music. Ha! Huh. Slide on my eardrums. Ha, huh, you know? Natsuki points eagerly at an engraving on the trunk of a tree. It's too far away to begin to focus, though I don't comment on that. It sounds stupid, but I knew you'd come back. I was waiting for you. I settle on the grass, pulling Natsuki down beside me. She lays her head softly on my shoulder, her eyes closing until we both relax on the warm sun. My point of view. This is not Bat's point of view. This is my point of view. The player's point of view. Behind Closed Doors has a thing for switching point of views. And uh, one thing that it does is it separates Bat's point of view and the player's point of view. So now this is the player's point of view, which is me. This is my point of view of what's going on. I guess we'll finally get to see what Spirit is doing. Oh, Monica. Ah, you scared me, Stan. Wait, didn't you just call me Monica? It's spirit, silly. I've got to take care of a few things. I'll be back in a bit. Hmm. Something seems very off about this. Hmm. Is she gonna do some more fucky shit to Natsuki and make her dad more abusive? She can try and fix the game, is that what? Is that what's gonna happen? So now we're back to Bat's point of view. Natsuki's silently sleeping on my side and I don't wish to disturb her. She's not commented on it, but I don't think she's slept in a while. A cherry tree stands fairly above us, too tall to see without crane right now. A perfect blossom has fallen from a few feet away from where we were seated. Hold on. Is there anything here? Nothing. I lean over and pick it up, settling, setting it in her lap. Her eyes flutter open, focusing sleepily on the gift. Mm -hmm. She looks up at me in surprise and I give a soft smile. Sometimes I don't have the words, so say with flowers? <laughs> oh! I saw this new building the other day. Spirit took us on a kind of field trip and walked past it. I think I had closing or something. She's trying to look unbothered, but I can tell she's really excited. Do you want to go there? Yeah! There's some really pretty things in there. N not that I like pretty things, it's just... You don't need to justify it. Like I said before, cute is not a weakness. I said pretty, not cute. Well, pretty isn't a weakness either. Let's go, let's go! I laugh quietly and stand up, taking Natsuki's hand in my own. We begin to walk back down the street and head towards the new building. Good music. Good music. Natsuki suddenly switches from holding my hand and grips my arm instead. I glance at her with mild concern, but I'm soon, I'm soon reassured that she is fine. Since she thinks I'm not looking, I see her lovely nose against my sleep and spot following. Oh, this cute girlfriend of mine. Oh, we have over the shop, she mentioned, and I study with time curiously. It's a boutique? Yeah, it's one of those fancy places. She falls silent for a moment, turning her face away. My father is pretty rich, or has a super high security, and we had things that no normal person would wear. Like auto lock doors, or leather couch, so expensive that you wouldn't actually let to sit on it. You know, dumb stuff. Yet he never spent anything on me. Sarah used to bring me things to eat. She even brought me the ingredients when I told her I wanted to learn baking. Yeah. I know how stupid it sounds, but I want to dress up for myself. Like, I want to feel special, like, like I'm worth something. I carefully take Natsuki's chin and lift that lift it up. Her eyes lock on me, suck with surprise. That you're worth everything. Suki, you're the most precious thing in my life. But if you really want something to wear, then I'll gladly buy it for you. Let's go inside and see if there's anything like. 
Really? You're the best bat. That's sweet. That is so sweet. I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this already. I can't wait to see what Fluffy has planned for the series. We wandered around the boutique for a while, so I feel interested in clothes and accessories. After a moment, I hear Squirrel from Natsuki. She's holding a small brooch in her hand, staring at the tiny diamonds, which line the golden border in the shape of her heart. So pretty. I smile, ten I smile tenderly, so I walk over and notice a sparkle at him. It's decided, right then and there. This is what I'm getting for her. Don't look until I'm done. She stares at me in silent contemplation before smile forms. After a moment, she starts giggling. What? Nothing. It just feels kind of surreal, that's all. I roll my eyes good-naturedly and fasten the pin to her label. There! I lead her to the nearest mirror and watching her eyes light up. Whoa. That. I love it! I feel like a princess! She hops up and on the spot in excitement. This is the best day ever! Best day ever turned into the worst day ever when the fucking power went out. Oh! What was... What is happening here? I don't like this bat. I don't like this either. What is happening here? I ask you when does the bandit get you to me? <gasps> oh my god. I thought he was in prison! I thought he went to fucking jail! No! No! He's back! Ask you Darth Vakas if you did from something. Oh my god, we saw it. I threw it the after. Oh. I saw it too. I saw her dad. <laughs> Let's find the boutique. Find it empty. Nobody's here, okay? As I give her a and Lich, I notice that her brooch is gone. But that's the last thing on her mind. She doesn't even realize. <laughs> Let's get out of here. And now I take your hand, leading her back to the doors. As I pull on the handle, I find resistance. Oh no. Get locked in there. Uh, I see bony hand retrieve Natsuki's wrist. I turn around to catch her hand pulling it out of home to place very close counter. You're not getting away that easily. It's him! I know! Uh. The turret collapsed with the pain on the left door and smashed it through, causing the whole sheet to collapse. I grab the traumatized Natsuki and drag her towards it. Her speed picking up through all three through the door out into the street. Oh my god. But I think if she could go into it back at school. Oh my god. Her dad's back. Tsuki? I sigh quietly as I know it's not such a strong girl. Her cheeks stand with tears. Scoop! Carrying in my arms, I quickly walk out through the gates. As we arrive, I find Sierra and Yuri in conversation. They both noticed us immediately. Well, are you okay? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Confirming the Natsuki's stable, the stand I set her down. I'm okay. Ben and I went to the spear show yesterday. We had a nice time there, it was really sweet. He even bought me up. She paused and looks down, now she notices the bitch is gone. Oh. I must have dropped it when. I'm. Don't you fucking smile at me. Don't you fucking smile at me, spirit. Okay? Or Monica, that's your real name. I'm done calling you spirit. I'm done calling you fucking spirit, okay? Your name is Monica, you bitch. <laughs> don't think. I know what you not don't think. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, bitch. I have my fucking eyes on you. Spirit walks into the club and smiles and greeting. I found this on the phone on my way back from town. Oh. No. Bitch. So it has to be in a bit back on Snatsky to find Mom to do a speech when I was just two of us, but I like never. Suki. Huh? I want you to have this as a gift my love for you. 
You've already owned it, but this is for giving you my heart. <sighs> Wait for her to tease me or brush off my affections in defense. You're still fucking smiling, Malika. I don't fucking like that. I don't fucking like that smile. That's the smile of someone who is doing something, and uh, I do not like it. I don't like it. I don't know what you're planning. But I don't fucking like it. <laughs> Wipe that smug off your fucking face. You red-haired bitch. <laughs> I wait for her to tease me. I brush off my effects and defense. But she just smiles. Thank you. Thank you so much. As we have another spirit rolling her eyes. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> now that smiles away. That's odd. At least an asking smile only at her. She goes back. Spirit's clearly waiting for this. And now she claps her hands in the justice club. Okay, everyone. Today we're going to be doing something a lot different. We all sit in our seats that she speaks, awaiting so further information. I have noticed that you call Natsuki by Dink. I mean, that's really cute. Suki in Japanese translates to love in English. So the thing poems are going to be based on Japanese words. I picked a word at random and put it on your desk, so it's translated to Japanese and I poem about it. There's a murmur in the club when the girls pick up the sheets and study the words. Revenge? Sadness? Pain? Spirit, are you okay? These words are kind of bitter. I'm fine! Poach can be angry sometimes. I'm not a. Mm, I don't like that. She pulls out her phone and loves up a chance like announcing proudly. My word is shorty. The girls each did the same, struggling with the bending she told her was from following suit. Kanashimi! Fukushu? As it falls in Asuki's chance, she says the button harder. No. No. Is it a Tommy? Is it fucking Tommy? There's no fucking way that it's a Tommy. There's no fucking way that it's a Tommy. There's no fucking way that it's a Tommy. Monica! Oh, I fucking hate you, Monica. I fucking hate you. God damn. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. You chose that word for her. You chose it. You... It's not a coincidence you fucking chose that word for her, you bitch. Nobody else seems to know what the sword the same pulse for her. Looks like you're doing a mistake, so I take my professor back to spirit. Spirit, maybe we should do something different? Oh? Is that a problem? She doesn't wait for me to finish processing the puzzle knife. Okay, bad idea. Let's do palindromes instead. We'll start to go with mine. Ah, uh, but spirit as a palindrome won't be anything, would it? I well, I thought this wasn't an obvious a slap in the face to reconsider the name choices, but let's use uh, Akinol. So Akinol as a valid jump becomes Monica. Monica, very good, Yuri, and you're what again, Natsuki? Atomi. Monica and Atomi? Yeah, they have. It was not to play with them, but it's not time with Big Girl just yet. Yeah. What? Wait, my brain's melting here. Excuse me. I've learned that I can control the code. Sally's been teaching me. My brain. Uh, so, not excuse that was teaching Monica about the code. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Now, I suppose I'm the antagonist of the story. So, I have to come back, right? They call me a virus. A Trojan horse, to be exact. I hid myself within Monica's files, unless that's what she was. Because there's no place I'd rather be than here. With my sweet suggest- um, ah. Consistency is nice and all, but this is my literature club. Here's my bat, so everything will go back to the I will win again. And this time, you can't interfere. Oh, don't think I will interfere. Don't think I fucking won't interfere, okay? I'm gonna fucking interfere with you all the fucking time, okay? I'm gonna- I'm gonna make sure that you do not fucking fuck with Natsuki, okay? Shut the fuck up, okay? I leave, I need to set everything up. You're here, Terry. Get out! This is... This is, um... This is fucked. This is, uh, fucked, to tell you the least. This is so fucked. 
and uh, I'm all for it. I'm all here for it. I can't wait to see what you do next, Fluffy. Um, that's not me being sarcastic. I actually mean it. Like, what the fuck? This was really good. And I cannot wait to see what you do next. One more thing, though. One more thing before I go. Is if I restart the game... What happens? If I restart the game, what happens? Is it gonna show... Okay. I just wanna see what the other... thing is. There was something that you did to Prime Star Wars. Like, after you were to by Inu, the Crunch with the Thousand we made, the Prime Star Wars protect you. I remember, they don't look so worried. I think they'll match out you, I promise. I really missed you and never liked telling me again. Dummy. I laugh and left the hand of Ravel Nazis here, but two pounds to speed before I get there. Oof. Yup. A loving moment. I so want to do that. Come on, come on, there's something I want to show you? Is anything different or. No, nothing is different. Everything's the same, yeah. So that's it. That's it for. That's it for Chain Perspective. That's. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Can't wait to see what happens next. Wait, did I say Chitty was up this? I meant behind closed doors. This is it for behind closed doors. I can't wait to see what you do next, Fluffy. Cannot wait to see what you do next. <laughs>